Hi all, I have a Christmas cracker of a game to show you today. August Salbach was playing against Hermann Polmeischer. Excuse the pronunciation. Anyway, so E4 from August Salbach. We have the Sicilian defence. Knight F3, E6, Knight C3. Now things start to get a bit strange here actually. We see Knight E7, this is quite an unusual move. D4. And black plays f5, so that was his cunning concept here, it seems. Uh, the move d5 is played. White does have a promising position already. f takes, knight takes e4 with a deadly threat here actually of knight d6, which would be checkmate. So black parries this deadly threat with knight takes d5. So did white just blunder a pawn or not? Knight e5. Threatening maybe queen h5 check now. So there's another threat on the horizon here. Queen h5. Black sees this though with g6. Now we have another threat. Queen f3. Threatening mate. Black here plays queen c7. Yeah, this starts to be a tricky position. This looks like an interesting move because... Black's taken out one of white's center pawns, and this knight doesn't seem that stable. Uh, let's see this. Let's see the defensive tries in this position. Is that one of the better ones? Maybe it, it might not be the best one, but it, actually, this is a difficult position for black. If he plays queen e7, there's bishop g5 here. Uh, so this is getting uh, very, very tricky indeed. If queen g7. Knight c4, and you can see there's big dangers anyway. So we'll go with the game, which is uh, the move queen c7. And white now plays this invasive check in this position. We have king d8, bishop g5 check, and black parries this now with knight e7. So Black's hitting the knight on e5. Has white come a bit unstuck? Has he overextended himself? Uh, he doesn't really want to waste time protecting this knight, does he? Uh, let's let's see. Uh, if white plays f4, um, this is still okay actually for white. But white finds something really, really uh, beautiful. In this position which is actually the reason for this game being covered and it's of great exceptional beauty in my view so can you spot the move that white plays in this position if i give you five seconds to pause the video i remember the golden rule of chess calculation is consider the most forcing moves first even if they're totally and utterly outrageous looking you need to investigate them sometimes. So I hope with that that thought in mind, you pause the video and find this beauty of a move. Okay. Queen e8, check. A lovely drag and drop type tactic where you're literally dragging and dropping one of the opponent's pieces, the king is dragged and dropped to e8. But why? Why? I hope you saw this follow up. The two knights work very well together, it seems. Knight f6 check. Yes, this knight is stopping the exit on f7. So the king's pushed back to d8. And now knight f7 is checkmate. A cute little game from August Salbash and in fact this is his only win in the chess games gone date space he's had about five losses four or five against the likes of Anderson so he was probably a prominent player around 1861 and this is one of his uh, more beautiful little games I believe so I hope you enjoyed this one comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much